Hello, everyone. This is Hua Wang from ETH Zurich. It is my pleasure to give a short summary presentation of my IEEE MTT Society Distinguished Microwave Lecture Talk. My talk is on the fundamentals of RF and the millimeter wave power amplifier design. I would like to thank the IEEE MTT Society for giving me this opportunity. I also want to thank everyone for attending my talk. As we know, power amplifier is the last active circuit stage in a wireless transmitter to interface with antennas. To generate sufficient signals for wireless transmission, power amplifiers are needed in most wireless systems, including mobile devices, fixed point wireless, radar and imaging systems, wireless power transfer, and satellite communication. This talk start with the basic power amplifier performance metrics, including different RF power values and DC power values. With those power metrics, we can define the PA power gain, drain efficiency, and the power added efficiency, PAE. A schematic of a general two-stage power amplifier is shown here. In general, the PA design can be separated into the active circuit design and the passive network design. The active circuits need to deal with device performances, PA classes, waveform shaping, and device stability, as well as reliability. The passive network designs will handle impedance transformation, power combining, also waveform shaping, and the bandwidth filtering performance of the PA. We will delve deeper into these two areas in this talk. We will explore a wide variety of fundamental trade-offs in PA designs. A PA design hexagon can be used to highlight these trade-offs and the resulting multi-dimensional optimization required in any PA designs. This level of complexity makes PA design both challenging and also full of innovation opportunities. To give the audience a perspective of practical PA performance capabilities, as well as the state of the art, we will use the online power amplifier survey developed by my research group to give a performance overview of power amplifiers reported from 2000 to now. Using these PA performance data, we will clearly see the major PA design trade-offs, such as upper power versus frequency, upper power versus efficiency, spectrum efficiency versus linearity versus energy efficiency, and the performance versus bandwidth. Next, we will present detailed PA design considerations for both active device designs and the passive network designs. For the active device designs, we will introduce the basic concept of device load pool controls, PA large signal nonlinearity as AM to AM and AM to PM distortions, and the linearization techniques, as well as power device optimization, especially for millimeter wave PAs. For the passive network designs, we will start with L match networks for matching and the impedance transformation and discuss their limitations. We will then present transformer based matching, power combining, and the filtering networks. Finally, we will introduce the coupler balen based matching networks that are becoming very popular in high millimeter wave PA designs. Next, we'll move up to the PA architectures and introduce several advanced PA topologies. We will focus on popular millimeter wave PA architectures for high peak efficiency and high backup efficiency enhancement. In particular, we will discuss Doherty and the Doherty light PA ex extensively since they are gaining increasing attention for 5G applications. We will also introduce the new technology trend of antenna PA co-designs that leverages holistic designs of electromagnetic radiators and the transistor circuits altogether in order to achieve transmitter performance beyond circuits only approaches. This talk will also present multiple PA design examples. This is the end of the summer presentation. Thank you for watching.